There was real birthday cake for the public to eat at the Wild Center recently. But this week, volunteers Judy McCartney and Carol Lines put the finishing touches to a twig cake that will be on display in the Great Hall throughout the decennial. I see these beautiful, uh, the beautiful Adirondacks, um, and, and, and they're, they're just coming here hungry to know more. And so in, in a lot of ways, we work really hard every day just to sort of feel that um, sort of that, that yearning for wanting to learn more, that curiosity. And I think we do a good job of sort of taking everyone to where, wherever their interest is, whether it's coming through a hike or going on a canoe paddle or going up into the treetops. I mean, that's one of the things I think we've done really well is that we've, we know people are different. We know that they have different interests and there's, they're, that they love nature or they wouldn't be here in the Adirondacks. The Wild Center has a staff of naturalists who break down nature's mysteries through lectures and hands-on activities like bird bingo. How about the brown pelican? Do you have that one? This albino turtle is another example of where staff works. He is being fattened up and kept away from predators. Their white color makes them an easy target for lunch. It will be returned to the on-site pond when bigger, along with other thumb-sized tortoises the staff rescued. The officials here at the Wild Center knew they had something good right from the beginning. They didn't know how good. It didn't take them long to find out. 158,000 visitors were welcomed to their big Adirondack home last year. Now, that's more than the population of a good number of Adirondack towns. I think the Wild Center has had an unbelievable impact on Tupper Lake and the region, I mean positively. When you look at last summer, they were averaging in the vicinity of 2,000 visitors a day. And to see the local restaurants and the gas stations just buzzing with people who had their little Wild, sticker, uh, wild Center stickers on their uh, shirts, um, oh, just it's real exciting to consider them, uh, uh, you know, really locals. In one section of the museum, it looks like the ice age has returned. It's really cool. Each spring, there's hands-on maple sugaring. On July 4th of last year, they opened the new multi-million dollar Wild Walk. It takes you soaring above the canopy of the forest floor. You know, it's tripled our attendance. No, we, we knew it was going to increase our attendance for a couple of years, but the response has been amazing. And I think it has, you know, it's just so inspiring. The Adirondacks are inspiring even driving down the road. But when you get up above the treetops and you just see this place where it's just inspiring and it kind of um, resets people's mindsets, I think. The facility depends heavily on volunteers. Many have been there from the early planning stages. Volunteers work everywhere, chalking up 100,000 hours. After 10 years, they are considered the backbone of the facility. The ideas that we um, like to explore here are things that are sort of universal about nature. We're using the Adirondacks, it's our example, and, it's, and we take you closer to this beautiful place called the Adirondacks. Radcliffe said that she credits their success to change and experimenting, usually involving high risk. There were definitely sleepless nights. There were sleepless nights when we had a problem in construction we had to solve. Where were we going to stay on budget? Where were we going to be on time? All those things in a normal construction project. But it was a big risk. But a well-calculated risk that has paid off. Over the last 10 years, the Wild Center has attracted tens of thousands of visitors here. And as they add new features, they will continue to satisfy the public's hunger for nature. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc in Tupper Lake.